All right, guys, we are going to dive into the rabbit hole of Reddit posts, the likes of dead memes, Corey on fire, and all the testing that they've done in regards to incoming damage being affected by your FPS. You heard that right. Your FPS, your frames per second, quite literally affects how much damage you take. Now, this is something we've kind of known now for a while, but we just didn't understand to what degree. But essentially, incoming damage is based on your frames per second. And the higher the frames, the more damage you will take, which is a wild concept considering everybody's trying to get higher frames per second for a more optimal gaming experience. But in this case, posted nine days ago by Useless Dead Memes, he said that enemy weapons and incoming damage need to be fixed ASAP and that we should not be dying faster just because we have higher FPS. Now, he's got an entire video breakdown on this, showcasing a barrier colossus immediately melting him when stepping out he then goes over to his settings he lowers his frames from 144 to just 120 not a huge difference but notice he gets a res and he's actually able to survive a single blast here from the barrier colossus now he dies but that's because he took two blasts the point I'm trying to make is even just a difference of 24 frames kept him alive. Now, this actually resulted in an eruption of tests from a number of different people. But let's start with Corey on fire. Now, Corey has got a lot of different things he's tested with. But just dissecting his post right here, he stated that there's been a lot of discussion around damage being tied to FPS. And of course, the infamous video that has gotten a lot of traction, which is the video I just showed you and does indeed show that the Cabal Slug Launcher does more damage if your frame rate is higher. But there's also been some other posts that claim other weapons are tied to frame rate that make a lot of claims without any sort of proof to back it up. The example he includes PvP hand cannon damage is tied to frame rate. Not really satisfied with just accepting some random stranger's words and grabbing my pitchfork, I decided to grab my trusty bottom dollar and a good friend to go shoot each in the head a few times. The results of my testing. So he actually shows right here of incoming damage and this is actually the breakdown of everything. We're gonna start with 100 frames per second shot by bottom dollar, 30 frames per second shot by bottom dollar. The comparison chart here between 30 and 100 frames per second. And from what I'm seeing, no, this has no bearing or effect inside of PVP, which makes sense because frame rate has not affected anything inside of PVP from what I've ever seen. But he also did additional testing, including Cabal Scatter Missile, Scorpius, Cabal Slug Launchers, all with different frames and and yes, for PvE at least, it looks like all of them was taking less damage at lower frames. He stated though that what you can see from the above is that the only weapon that's doing any noticeable different damage when frame rate is capped is the original weapon that sparked this all, which is the Cabal Slug Launcher. Hooray for independent verification. All of the other weapons did about the same, regardless of frame rate. I will admit that the Scatter Missile was a little hard to test and it's not the best example, but it should be enough to show that the damage isn't a huge difference like the Cabal Slug Launcher is. But conclusion, yes, there is a bug regarding some enemy weapons doing damage depending on your frame rate, but it's not happening to all the weapons that people claim it's happening to. Please test, verify, and share your proof before declaring something is bugged. Now, personally, Personally, when I'm watching this, guys, I, I see it. Maybe he doesn't see it, but I feel like there is a difference. Maybe my eyes are deceiving me. Now, Useless Dead Memes was actually testing this between two different Xbox. One was like the OG Xbox, and the other is like the Series S. And he noticed a significant difference in gameplay. His findings? He took more damage from the following at higher frames per second, which includes anti-barrier cabal launcher shots, wizard spam bolts, shriekers, cabal missiles, the scatter ones, overload taken hobgoblin seekers, normal ogre spam tomb ship shots which really reflected how much damage you take like showing here 30 frames per second from the tomb ships i mean he died right but it took like two sets of blasts whereas at 160 frames it was instant now some areas that we don't really think about because they're not necessarily the most popular areas include things like gamut does this affect gamut are the attacks that you receive inside of gamut being affected here by your frame rates despite pvp being mixed into all of this now DMG actually replied to this post acknowledging that this is a bug stating that the cabal slug launchers will be fixed in the December patch and that other instances of higher damage taken due to frame rate are currently under investigation and that he can't give a time frame on when they'll be addressed 
but the team is digging. And if you find more instances of this, please make sure to report them on the help form or over at Bungie.net. So this is a bug that Bungie's acknowledged. It is something that's happening. And the reason why we're making this video today is because we make nightfall guides and grandmaster guides. And the question we have to ask, should we start recommending people to cap their frames? Especially for my PC boys that like to run around with 200 plus frames. It's kind of funny that we dropped all this dough for a rig. We get the most frames. We're thinking we're going to get the most optimal gaming experience. And then suddenly all the bosses and ads in a game completely wreck us way faster than if we were just rocking an OG console. Now, do not take this to the extreme. This does not mean you need to cap your frame rate at like three frames per second. I don't even know if you can do that, but I don't think that's how it's going to work. I don't think you're going to suddenly become God mode by capping your frame or frames. So don't be getting on LFG going, hey, looking for group must have frame rate capped at 10. I don't want to start that trend. But on another note, considering the things that are falling within this category, and they'll be confirmed over time, and they're already starting to be confirmed, but I know many instances where a hobgoblin with those overload seekers would instantly shred me. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I'm rocking higher frames. And the same with shriekers. And this is the kind of thing that can mess up a run in a nightfall. So what am I going to do? Well, I don't necessarily think I'm going to bring my frame rates down to ridiculous levels like 30. No offense to my old gen guys. I know that's kind of where you live. I'm not trying to crap on your experience. I'm just saying I'm just not going back, you know. However, I am considering 60. I feel like 60 is still going to be all right, even on PC. I have a PC that can crank out Grandmaster content at 150 plus frames, almost 200. But knowing this right now, knowing that high frame rate could actually be hurting me rather than helping me, especially in things like solo content, because I know you guys have been wanting me to do solo nightfalls. Going forward, I'm probably about to lower my frame rate down to at least 60. And I know to some of you guys that may look ugly in comparison to what we've gotten used to here on PC, but at least we'll be alive. In the meantime, though, guys, this is something that really needs to be fixed. When you've got people that are upgrading their rigs or upgrading their consoles and playing at higher frame rates and it's actually hurting them, yeah, this is something that has to be fixed way before Witch Queen comes out, way before the new raid comes out, right? In the meantime though guys play around with it see how you feel if you find that dropping your frames down back to 30 is offering more of an advantage which it clearly does against certain enemy types then it may be worth doing if you can visually get past it it is hard going from 60 down to 30 again i do believe this is something that bungie really needs to dive into because this may actually explain some of those other shenanigans including dying to architects dying to architects may actually be tied to frame rates because it's quite literally the game going we don't know like we for real just don't know how you died but you died and that's about the only explanation we're going to give you and i wouldn't be surprised guys if it's actually tied to frame rates so fellas let me know in the comments below what you think of this have you run into instances where you think your higher frames have actually affected you i even have friends that upgraded to like a 3080 or a 3090 from say like an older gpu whether it was like a 1080 or a 980 and they even made comments like yo i think i'm dying faster again a bizarre scenario in which upgrading to the newest stuff is is not actually advantageous but i'm curious to know what your experiences are well fellas and ladies thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right